I have the honor of sitting with the one and only. Dun, 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 dun. Say your name. Sonia Joseph. Boom, 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 boom. And she is with Clarice Little Lamb. Y'all already know that's over there on the West Bank. The best thing? The be with, with DC Paul, so he can have a fit. <laughs> Where he at? So he can have a fit. So yeah, right there on the West Bank, and I'm telling you, they got the whole block locked. Like one corner, and it's, I, you just be like, it's a little university for toddlers. It's like solid over that way. You're right. Yes. I was impressed. I was like, I wish I had this when I was a kid. This was dope. And so tell us about Clara Little's Lambs. And then also, once you do all that great stuff, tell us how being a part of the chamber has helped you. Okay, great. Well, hello, and thank you for having me. Uh, Clara's Little Lambs was founded by my mother, Clara Washington. We call her the living legend. Yes, indeed. Still comes into work every day to see her babies. Yes. We're now um, operating with three generations. It's my mother, myself, and my daughter, Jody. Wow. We've been in business for over 30 years. Wow. So when you speak about our campus, you're correct. It takes up two blocks. It's over 10,000 square feet. For, for little kids. For little kids. Y'all sleeping for the little kids. For the toddlers, y'all sleep if you don't know. Now you know. Absolutely. We, can, we uh, serve children from age zero to pre-K. Right now we're enrolling pre-K. Um, so go on one app and sign up you for guys Clara's are part of one app. Yes, we are. That's great. We're partnered with Crescent City Schools. So we provide cool. pre-K through Harriet Tubman. So we um, have openings available coming up for next school year, so be sure to sign in on one app. And we also have a partnership with LSU Human Development Center where we serve early Head Start children. That is right. State. That is right. I sent a couple of clients over there. Well, you guys have an amazing, like, array of partners, though. Absolutely. We are the poster child for partnerships. Yep, we love to partner with people. It enables us to provide care for multiple children yeah. from all backgrounds, from all over the city. Yes. We have children who come from as far as Chalmette, Wagaman. Really? West Bank, West Bank. Yes, we have no borders. No borders. No borders. I mean, when, when you have a university for toddlers, I mean, there shouldn't be any borders, right? Everybody wants their kid to be at the best preschool that they can find. Absolutely. And you Absolutely. guys definitely have that like that reputation oh i appreciate that we have kids coming in who w will tell us oh i came when i was a child i'm like oh no hold on you're making me feel old <laughs> <laughs> and they'll, they'll tell me no they're aging i'm not which i'm not i'm aging backwards so. yes you go, you're going you're going backwards exactly. you're going but it's a it's an amazing little well not little place it's an amazing big place and so what are some of the things that you guys do while you're like some of the like field trips or some of the things that you kind of pride yourself on over there at Claire's Little Lamb. Well, we use the creative curriculum, so we actually teach to the individual child. Got you. So although we have a lesson plan for the whole group, we also cater to the individual child and we teach them where they are, yes. not where people think they should be because every child develops differently. Yes. So we focus on what's developmentally appropriate for each child, whether there's the child has a special need or it's a typically uh, functioning child. We focus on the whole child and we try to include the family in that as well. So we do things yes, like indeed. a fall fest to include parents. Yes. Uh, we do take the children on field trips. We will do the zoo and the aquarium and those typical things as well. Yes. So you take children with special needs as well. Absolutely. Ooh. Absolutely. We even we have all of our playgrounds are inclusive we have seven fully uh, equipped playgrounds and they all are capable of accepting children with special needs wheelchairs walkers uh, we take them all we're pretty proud of that actually you should be yeah because a lot of people aren't able or have the facility to or facilities to do that to accommodate um, our, our babies with special needs who needs the love and attention and that too so when you when you do do the kids with the special needs or accept them or enroll them is there a specific age limit that you start at like one or two we just, take children from birth so just birth just flat out birth from birth just Come, just come. That's right. And we do testing, Look, so we do come. <laughs> come with your arms open, like Jesus. Come, just come. They're Absolutely, here. we love our babies. I, I, every morning I work the door so that I can greet the parents and the children. It makes my day every day to see them coming in, and they're always ready to give you a hug or a kiss. They're very happy to see us. They love coming to school. We do the do developmental test, developmental testing, so that we can test if there are any issues. We come can on. do early intervention, so that you know the earlier you intervene the better outcomes you have for children. That's where that LSU comes in, too. That's, Absolutely. Yeah, that, they help big time with that over there. So I'm just excited. So, yes, you may want to have children, but not. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, 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 that's a great place. Still good click. And I was like, nah, let me. No, yeah. So Function as an auntie, that way you can give them. Back. Oh, I got buku nieces and nephews, yeah. baby. That's what I love about my grandchildren. I can spoil them and then I can give them back. Look, mm, here you go. Pick them up and give them right back. So yeah, so definitely love. So being a part of since you love to partner and LSU is one of your partners and you have quite a other few partners how has being a member of the New Orleans Regional Black Chamber of Commerce been helpful to your organization what's great about the chamber is that they expose you to things that are available in the city mm -hmm. whether your business is in that particular field or not it may yeah. be something you want to expand to it might be something you want to learn about um, there's they're always offering some way to network to get your business out there that's one of the best things about them is that they put your name out there where it they normally do. wouldn't be they, they, I mean, they just line you up. And they sit you to the table, like I was saying earlier, to like more citywide, like contract availability and stuff like that. And so just to hear, so anybody can be a part of the chamber. That's correct, right? That's any, correct. any, um, because you're a daycare. So any business, uh, entertainment, um, lawyer, doctor, graphic artist, anything like that, you could definitely be a part of the chamber. How long have you been a member? I've been, I've actually been a member on more than one occasion. I was initially a member and then somehow I lost my membership. I think I forgot to renew it. Yes, Shame on me. <laughs> It happens. It right. happens. And then I rejoined, which I'm happy to do. Uh, the chamber, it, it's really great because you there are people that you can work with that you may not realize that you can work with. Yeah. You know, like I say, oh, I need a, a driveway done. There's somebody in the black chamber who probably has that business. Yeah. Need accounting work. There's somebody in the chamber who can do accounting work. Gotcha. So that's what's great about it is that you can have access to other businesses that you probably weren't aware of. Gotcha. And then they have access to your business as well. Which I is know. Great. Cause, and we want everybody to go to Claire's Little Lambs, baby. And we can't. So for people who don't know um, where you're located and how to get in contact with you, can you just share that Information for Absolutely. Them. We're at 1871 Farragut Street, which is in Algiers, right off of Mardi Gras Boulevard. We're only a 15-minute ride to downtown, so many families will swing off the bridge, drop their kids off to us, and swing right back on the bridge. Mm -hmm. um, our phone number is 504 three six two seven seven one zero so mm -hmm. please give us a call for information but we also have an open door policy okay so parents and families are always welcome to come by visit the facility if they have kids currently enrolled they're welcome to come by spend the day spend that's time dope. read a story whatever they like to do come and play with the kids that's dope that's dope yes indeed so give them the address one more time we're at 1871 farragut street and that's New Orleans, 70114, on the Best Bank in Algiers. Yeah. You about to get these East, um, these East Bank people upset, me If you keep on saying the Best Bank, they're going to come at the station for you. It's not me. But even though I, I do love the West Bank, though, I can't lie. How can you not? I, yeah, yeah. See, I'm done. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to get in it. I'm not going to get in it. But because you guys, and so just to let you know, if you do try to find them, GPS it, it is. You can catch them off of the main street, but it's kind of like a street behind the main street. But you, once you see it, you're going to see it. Like, it's going to be no parking. Absolutely. Because <laughs> everybody's going to be in there. It's going to be like, you be like, dang, at a daycare. And so we just want to make sure that you guys are just aware of what's popping off over there at Claire's Little Lambs. So what type of edge? So if someone is out there listening right now and wants to know how to get into either this business or how to become what do you, um, like a young educator, was that what that, that we call that or early education? I should know this. I should. I know this early education person. What would be some like steps that you would tell them? Well, I think um, if you want to become a teacher, we only hi hire certified teachers because we want to make sure our children uh, have the best and have the best opportunity to be prepared when they enter into school. So Delgado and some of the colleges offer um, degrees in early care and education. Yes. There are also state certified programs that can help teachers earn their child development associate, better known as a CDA. Huh. Um, you can go on Louisiana Believes website and they actually give you information on who are the certified approved programs that teachers can utilize yeah. to um, enter into this field. It's it's really very, very rewarding. It's a job that you come into every day, and it really makes you happy to be there. Come on, Because Anna. you're dealing with children who really need you and really You look very you. happy. You I look, am. <laughs> to say that you work with children, like... Every day of your, like, you look extremely happy and well-rested. Yeah, these children keep you from having a bad day. 
I if, got you, you. if you're having a bad day, all you have to come in and is get a hug. Or it's true. They treat us like we're queens. They, they are so happy to see us. We're their second parents. Yay. And in some cases, we spend more time with them than, our, than their parents. And that is true. Eight hours a day. Eight hours, ten hours. We're yep. open for ten and That's a half right. hours. Some kids are with us as much as ten hours. 7 a.m.? What time do you close? We open at 6 a.m. Wow. We close at 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Wow. We're closed on all major holidays, of course. Okay. But we love our children outside of that. Yeah. <laughs> Except for on all major holidays. All major holidays. We, we love them during the holidays anyway, but you know, we did, we just need a break to be with our own family. Absolutely. Right? Spend that time with your family. Yeah, I, I'm just assuming that the place that Claire's Little Lambs is a place where nobody wants to leave. We have kids who cry not to go home. I'm talking about change. adults. Well, ad <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about, like, as far as, like, the work environment is considered, I, I could just see, you know, how um, back in the day, like, parents or just individuals would have jobs and just stay on jobs for, like, 20, 30 years. I could see, like, your people just stay in there forever who are not blood-related. We do have some a lot of long-term employees. <laughs> That's true. We do have a lot of long-term employees because and a lot of the teachers really become attached to the kids. And what we do is something called continuity of care, and that's a part of early Head Start, okay. where the children actually start off with the teacher from the beginning, and they stay with them for at least three years until they enter into our three-year-old program. Really? So that teacher really becomes like a second parent. The parents, you know, get to know the teacher. So they, like, really follow well. them they follow, first. They, they stay with them the entire time. So you're always rotating. Well, we're, we're not really. What happens is the children stay from zero to three. At three, year old, three, at three they go into a three-year-old classroom. Okay. And then they go on to pre-K. But the teachers keep them consistently for those three years. So it's like being with your parent for those three years. Wow. They know the kids' habits. They know the parents. The parents know the teachers. It works out fantastic. You just become a part of the family. It becomes a part of the family. Absolutely. That's, Absolutely. that's awesome sauce. Yeah, you, we love I'm, it. I'm telling you. So, family, if you're out there and you're looking for a great daycare, especially for people who are looking to enter their children into the pre-K program, because you guys are currently enrolling for that, right? Absolutely. Does that start in January well, or for... Open enrollment started on November 19th. Okay. One app early um, enrollment. Okay. And it ends in February, and then it'll pick up for the second round again, I believe, in April. So this is for the 2019-2020. Uh, the Absolutely. Can you believe it? And we have Jeez. almost 100 pre-K spots available. Wow. So go online and sign up. We have all certified teachers. Many of them have master's degrees in early education. I would say probably between the eight teachers that I have, there's probably 200 years of experience because they've all been teaching forever. And they That's what I'm talking about. Children, we, yes. need a, we need a meme on to teach our kids. You Absolutely. know, a TD. Absolutely. We need some TDs to teach <laughs> They're like the grandparents to the kids. Yes. They're teaching them. But they all leave out totally prepared for kindergarten. That's really wow. our goal, to have the kids prepared to succeed when they enter kindergarten. And that's mm. exactly what our teachers do, which makes us so proud. You, uh, ever, you ever thought about going into, like, early, like, primary, like, first through fifth? No, we'll leave that to the chart. We like supporting them. We like working with Crescent City Schools. We like working with LSU. We'll leave that to everyone else to handle the primary grades. We'll stick with our babies. Yeah, because it's kind of hard. The kids are going to be like, wait a minute, we don't get like you know, four hugs a day, like all this love that you're leaving, you know, exactly. and going to like a regular school. They're going to be like, I don't know if I... I don't know how I feel about this. I know it's it's very difficult. Some of my parents are like, I don't want to go to big school. Yeah. Sonia. I don't want to leave y'all. Like, so the parents understand. are more traumatic. They're having a more traumatic experience than the kids. Exactly. And oh, then our man. ratios are so low. Our ratios are four to one for really? every child up until three years old. And that's very rare. But that's best practice. It really gives the teachers an opportunity to really get to know the kids. Four to one. Four to one ratio which is amazing. The teachers like it, the parents like it, and of course the kids love it. So it's like two so two adults to eight kids. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. We don't have any more than eight kids in the class. What? The two adults. And then we have a third teacher who works as an assistant who floats between the classrooms relieving the teachers because we also monitor the children's progress. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the teachers go out and they put that in a computer and they make sure the children are develop developing at the level they should be or at the rate they should be. And if they need work on something, the computer gives them tips on uh, and ideas on things they can do to help, um, you know, improve the children's skills. Yeah, I fully equipped skills. over there. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The playgrounds, people are so shocked when they see the playgrounds it's because... Sweet. 
It's very hard to find schools that have such awesome playgrounds, all individually fenced off so that the kids can, you know, be out there with their friends. Wow. Uh, we don't put any more than eight kids on a playground together with two teachers, so they're still getting individualized attention, even when they're out on the yard. Yes, indeed. My mom's vision was to open up a center with, because when she was a child, she loved working with kids. Oh, wow. And so we started out with one small center, and mm -hmm. grew to three, and then we shut those all down, and we moved to this one large facility. That's so it's cool. really grown beyond her wildest dreams, but it's something she's so proud of because it was such a vision of hers when yeah. she was a young woman. And to see it now, we serve over 200 kids, which is amazing. 200 kids. Yeah. And we're licensed for 400, but we'll never serve that many because we've reduced our ratios. So our goal is to keep it low. Yeah. So we're serving half of what we could serve because we want to make sure we're providing quality. So it's not just about the quantity of kids. It's really about quality care. Yes, indeed. So when it's time for me to have my, can I just get a special slot? Listen, <laughs> let me go ahead and just put my file in now. Come over and play with our kids. Read them a story. Get a hug. It'll make you feel good. I should read them a story. I got some books that I can read out there. Lee, it's not that cool, brother. The wind ain't blowing like that. But I just want to let you know. I just want to let you It ain't that cool, bro. <laughs> Lee, oh, yeah, but like we in the middle of a snowstorm. Jesus. I love you, Lee. All right. Have a, have a blessed one, bro. I, I am going to take you up on that. I'm going to come and read a story to the kids. That's what's up. I did some story reading over in the East. Um, at a couple of libraries, and then I do it sometimes for my church. And so I, I, I need something. You need a little love. Yeah, the children love that. They love they love reading books. We have libraries in all the classrooms, so the children love story time. I can't take it. I can't take y'all over there. What y'all doing? It's just too much. It is just too much. So this is what I need you to do because we gonna take a quick little break. I need you to go ahead and tell the people once again where you are, where they can find you, and just once again that they just they should just bring their babies Absolutely. to you because you're dope. Absolutely. Clarice Little Lambs is located at 1871 Farragut Street, New Orleans, 70114. And our phone number is 504-362-7710. Give that number one more time, phone. 504-362-7710. And one more time, because D.C. Paul just walked through the door. The West Bank is the best bank. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> just because he just walked through the door. So, family, don't y'all go nowhere. We're going to be right back. <laughs>